Heights, Nella. We'll stay tuned for that one. Charlie Crist back on the campaign trail in South Florida today and attacking Governor Ron DeSantis for all of the recent anti LGBTQ plus legislation he has pushed through. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live in Wilton Manors with more. Glenna. Chrissy, for all of that reason, it will come as no surprise to anybody that today Charlie Chris got the endorsement not only of Equality Florida, but also of the National Human Rights Campaign Organization. And that comes with money, it comes with manpower, and today a call to action. On day one of my administration, I'll sign an executive order to protect LGBTQ Floridians from discrimination. Charlie Crist had them at hello. It is one on one, and the choice could not be more crystal clear than it is between me and Ron DeSantis. The choice, says Florida's LGBTQ community, is a governor who will undo what are perceived anti LGBTQ laws that Florida's conservative governor and legislature quarterbacked. Existential threat, threat to the LGBT community here in Florida. For instance, education law that resulted in just last week Miami Dade School Board rejecting an LGBTQ History Month celebration. Teachers' careers threatened, books by LGBTQ authors banned, and safe school policies repealed. Christ's equality platform is not new. He's had one in every one of his runs for office for a decade. This race to this community comes with a ramped up sense of urgency. I implore all pro equality voters and residents to help get out the vote. And so it begins today on that account. You know, Charlie Chris spent a lot of his campaign war chest during the primary, a primary Ron DeSantis did not have. He has far less to spend right now, right here, than DeSantis does. He's been dark, not on the air with expensive ads for the last month, but he does go back up on the air tomorrow, he told us today. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Wilton Manors today, Local 10 News.